Welcome back to our introduction to Onyx videos. I'm David Henry from Learn Stage Lighting. And in this video, we're talking about creating and using presets. Now, this area right here at the bottom of the screen is not just a blank area with some fancy labels. It is where your presets reside in Onyx. What are presets? That's the next question that comes up a lot of times, right? Uh, depending on your background, you may be familiar with this concept from other consoles, or maybe you're not. And that's totally okay either way, because we're going to go through from step one. Now, a preset is a selection of info about a light, okay? About a, a group of lights um, at its core. And so to build a preset, we go ahead, we select some lights or groups of lights. We pull up our parameters here and we give something a value. For this example, I'm gonna give the output, the intensity, a value at full, okay? Then I can go ahead with my keypad. I can press record and place that into a preset. Now we can see here, if we move our pop-up, that our presets, which by default are here at the bottom, are in groups, intensity, pan, tilt, color, gobo, beam, beam effects, and framing. Now you may not see all these options because only the options uh, by default that apply to the lights you have will show up. In this case, we have a light with framing, etc. So we see all of these. We'll choose intensity. Again, we pressed record already. We'll press a tile. Any open tile will work. Boom. Now we've got a preset. We're going to name it. Same as naming the groups. We just type after we've recorded it and we're good to go. Now we can clear. Now, clearing once clears your selection. We've done that already, but clearing twice is what we need to do here. Double tapping that clear clears out our programmer fully. Now, when we talk about presets, a preset contains the information for the lights that we've recorded to it, okay? Now, there's a couple things that are really special about presets that matter, okay? Because ultimately, in Onyx or any lighting console, we can go ahead and select our lights and bring them to full and record that to a queue and be done. Okay, and it would work. The problem exists. There's two really big problems, okay? The first problem is that if you want to update all of the lights that are at full, uh, maybe a particular type of light, etc., later in every queue, you would have to go back and do that individually unless you use a preset. When you use a preset, you're able to quickly update all of those units very quickly, okay? By just updating the preset, any cues created from that preset get updated automatically. It's very powerful, especially when we're talking about things like positions and colors. Those would be the types that I update the most. Also, however, presets save us time. Instead of having to go ahead and dial in the exact color or the exact position, Every time we want to record a cue, we just hit the preset and it takes us there. And so while there's some additional time at the front end of setting up presets, you'll find that that time is saved in the playback and aim when you're recording many cues and over the long haul of using your show. That actually brings us to a third point as to why presets are awesome, is consistency. You know that if you choose the blue that you built with a preset, or a certain position, that in every queue you record that in, it's going to be identical. It's not going to be slightly different in every queue, which can get kind of funky, and plus the other reasons we talked about as to why presets rule. So with that said, um, creating a preset is really as simple as just selecting any amount of lights and recording them into it, okay, once we've given them attributes. Now by default, the intensity presets, they're only going to contain information from the intensity parameter group. The pan tilt, only from the pan tilt. Color, only from attributes within the color, etc., etc. This can be overridden, but if you're just starting, please don't do that. Just stick with the defaults. It makes your life a lot less confusing. Um, the other thing we want to note about presets is some different ways that we can assign things to lights and that we can build our presets uh, with our lights. So if we clear twice and we select our lights, I just wanted to start fresh there. We're able to go ahead, like I showed you with intensity, 
and use the parameter wheels either on screen or on a console or playback surface or on a console or a control surface. And we're able to dial in whatever we want. We can click and drag, we can use the surface, we can use our scroll wheel. There's a lot of ways to dial in our pan and tilt or any other attribute. However, there are some shortcuts that will really help you at this left arrow. So if we press that, we're able to get access to things like a color picker. We're able to go ahead and over here, get pan and tilt on an X, Y axis. Okay. Um, there's a lot within here and I'm not going to go into it fully, but another one here is Gobo. If we go to that and go to our first paint, we're able to see our different options in a nice graphical perspective. And so keep these in mind as you're building your presets that these can be really great ways to get exactly what you need and do so very quickly um, without a lot of fuss. And then as you select different attributes, say here, a Gobo, I can go ahead to my Gobo presets, press record, build that preset, name it if I want, clear twice if I'm done. Awesome. So that's the basics of doing presets. Now for our next video, I want to go ahead and load the demo show so that we can use all of the presets that are already built into that and be able to see that happen on our stage. Okay. So with that, let's go ahead, press save from the Onyx menu to save this show, save without content. And then we can go to Onyx load. This is your Onyx show file folder. We'll scroll down to samples. If you haven't done a lot, you won't have so many shows like me. And then Onyx Training 4.4 is the current version of the training file. And we'll load that guy up. Now with this training file, just as a quick aside at the very end of the video, there's also a demo file for a visualizer called Capture that we're able to use. The cool thing about this is as you're learning, you can use 3D visualization alongside of this show file in Onyx, okay? And so in our next video, when we start that up, I'm going to show you how to connect with the capture demo file. Okay. First things first, when this does load, you'll probably see this message, which just talks about how the show was created in an older version of Onyx. Um, you may or may not see this, but if you do, you can just press save, save it. You're good to go. Awesome. With that guys, we're going to head to our next video and connect with the capture demo file.